With glorious fanfare, hello, good morning, hello, jelly... <laughs> Don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Oh, since we saw our last saw our intrepid hero, Larry Laffer, cavorting merrily with his newly found true love on the sands of Nun Tonight Beach, this beautiful island has undergone extensive improvements. Not in the graphics, though. Maybe in the color. Once pristine and primitive, covered by virgin rainforest, splashed by gurgling streams, and washed by tropical rains, Nun Tonight has discovered, and has been discovered, by modern civilization. But isn't that what they wanted in the last game? They were trying to sign this big deal to get these resorts up? Oh, well, there they are. The villagers, eager to shed their Stone Age lifestyle, united themselves by forming Natives Inc. to protect themselves from the interests, protect their interests, rather, and develop their island, realizing they were sitting on the very yuppie dream, a vein of gold they can mine through tourism. They took correspondence courses in business management, public administration, sales, and marketing. Learning modern construction techniques through self-help books and pirated videotapes of this old house, they began by building a hotel on this very same beach. Oh, it's like watching a Monopoly game in action. Up go the hotels, there's a couple of houses popping up over there. On the side of an active volcano, I might add. Did you guys remember what happened last time? That's exactly the lava flow. Ooh, but I like the Emerald City. But growth really exploded when they discovered the holy grail of modern marketing, the wonder of timeshare. Reminds me of my Sim Tower games. Ah, uh, civilization. Who would want to have real palm trees when you could never have to prune or water these new plastic models? Welcome to the paradise of the Pacific. The all new, all improved, totally unyuppified, well, totally yuppified rather, consumer oriented Nun Tonight Island. And that's the story we got so far. Let me give you a proper intro. Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Roland MT32 in the hizzy, as is Leisure Suit Larry 3, and Passionate Patty. There she is, at least from the thighs down. Welcome to the Leisure Suit Larry 3, Passionate Patty in the pursuit of the pulsating pectorals. Warning, this game contains some material that may be deemed offensive by some players. Ethnic humor? I don't think that actually qualifies as humor. Is that their way of just saying, is that, yeah, we're going to be completely racist and how you like that? Sexual innuendo or pixelated nudity, you'll be happy playing another game. Mmm. Ah, oh, okay. Try to offend me. Go ahead. Reality check. Uh, totally. <laughs> uh. Ooh, to prove you're at least 25 years old, please answer these five simple questions. I think the more you answer, the more raunchy, quote unquote, the game gets, but I think. There's only two options, on or off. I might be wrong. No, no, I'm I'm not wrong. And I'll show I'll show you why. So let's get the questions out of the way. <laughs> the term baby boom refers to now a sound a baby makes when dropped from a high building. I love it. You are so bright. Yay! Five out of five questions. Therefore, I get to play this game at the totally raunchiest level. Have fun. I remember really liking the music in Leisure Suit Larry 3. My, how this island has changed. Do you remember when you parachuted down here, there was nothing but a sleepy little native village inhabited by a tribe of illiterate islanders? Now look at it. It's overgrown with hotels, resorts, casinos, and cheap tourist traps. Such is the cost of progress. At least your job as Vice President of Marketing for Natives Incorporated has enabled you to provide a lovely home for you and your beloved wife, Kalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
Hi there, Al Lowe. Oh, these are broken. From here on the lovely vista point high up on the slopes of Nuntinite Island, the city lies spread below your feet like the floor of a movie theater after a Saturday matinee. A lovely lawn with a bronze plaque lies near two pairs of binoculars. All right, well, we'll check out the plaque, I guess. Look, plaque. And I get points for that. Oh, it's me. On this site, the great hero of our people, Larry Laffer, huh? single-handedly saved our island from our mortal enemy, the evil Dr. No Nookie. Oh, wow, I look like a Roosevelt on the penny up there. A Roosevelt on the dime, rather. Oh, I'm an American, I promise. So things all in all seem to be going pretty well for Larry. Uh, the island's gotten built up. It's like this own little paradise. Um, he's rich, I guess. He's got a really good job. He's married to Kalau la 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 Oh, he's wearing little flip-flops. Look at him go. Flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. The villagers were wise to retain total financial and political control of their island. For example, they've never allowed vehicular traffic anywhere. Everyone walks wherever they go. All right, that's smart, so you don't have to worry about sprawl. Up this path, over here, your beloved is probably there right now, waiting patiently for your return. You know what? I, I reject your instructions. I go my own way. My name is Larry, ha ha, Larry Laffer. I don't listen to your rules. Say, you think, I bet Kalalalala is at home right now, <laughs> eagerly waiting for my return. I'll head back there right now. Oh, uh, you can't. All right, you have to do what the game says. Upon this path is your home, Larry. Ooh, it even has the hot tub sound effects. Oh, Kalalalala, baby. Your lover boy, Larry, is home. Oh, no, you're not, cries a voice from over the fence. You don't live here anymore. I found a new lover and filed for divorce. By island law, all I need to do is walk three times in a circle around our bed. I've done that many times over the past few years. Hmm, this is moving fast. You're, you're stunned. You had no idea anything was wrong. Uh, what do you mean, divorce? Walk three times? Oh, Kalalalalala, say it isn't so. Is this because I can never pronounce your name properly? It is so, Larry. I'm leaving you now and keeping the house. And something about guard dogs, I think, just popped up, but I couldn't read it. Us? What do you mean, us? Are you in our hot tub with someone else? Who? Who is it, Kalalalalala? I'm in love with Bobby, my new lover, she responds hurtfully. Bobby was able to meet my needs where you never were. You'll never bore me to sleep again, Larry Laffer. Oh, this is terrible. Kalalo, how could you possibly leave me for another man? I didn't, you fool. Bobby's a woman. Oh, poor Larry. Not only does Kalalalalala no longer love you, but she's fallen in love with another woman. What could Kalalalalao possibly seen an Amazonian Harley riding former cannibal lesbian slot machine repair woman. Uh, auto save? Uh, no, I don't need to worry about it right now. Thanks, though. I appreciate that because you know this game's going to be a bitch. Well, that hit the big old red reset button. At least I still have a good job, he said, knowing fully what's coming up. Well, Larry, back out on your own again, baby. I like the way the credits kind of play during gameplay. I like that. You can also walk around while recovering from Kalalalal shocking news. You carefully consider the alternatives. I suppose I could go into mourning, mope around all day, sit in my room, rent lots of videos, things like that. Or I could give up women, remain celibate forever, and enter the ministry or something. Oh, wait a minute. What am I thinking? No way. Not me. Not Larry. Huh? Larry Laffer. You know, this island is the perfect location for a sophisticated single swinger like yours truly. And thanks to a wonderful island tradition, Kalalalao's dowry gave me hundreds of acres of potentially valuable forest land. Perhaps my love for Kalalalao blinded me to the potential of my current locale. Where else could I find more women than on a tropical resort? And to think, every one of them came here seeking just one thing, a good time. Yeah, that's it. I've had enough of my hot... Mahogany? Yes, those dark woods are awful. Marriage and long-term commitments. So be it. My life's new goal will be to allow as many women as possible to enjoy me while they can. Uh-oh. It's time. He's coming back. He's back! With glorious rolling fanfare, look out girls! Just when you thought it was safe to dive back into the gene pool, the original swinger is at it again! Yeah, look at me go. Oh man, I have gained so much weight. Really let yourself go. Well, married life, I suppose. Married Larry. <laughs> Ooh, O-C-H. What's O-C-H? You were outside the legal offices of Dewey, Cheatham, and Al, the best corporation of associated legal professionals on the island of none tonight. 
Also, the only. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess I can go there and finalize my divorce papers. Ooh, fancy. You are in the offices of the distinguished island legal firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. There is a male receptionist seated at the table. Hmm. Look, man. Roger is the executive secretary in charge of faxing and reception here at the legal firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. Is there a lawyer available that can help me? Oh my god, he looks like Paul Reiser. I'm sorry, sir, but Mr. Dewey is in conference, Miss Cheatham is taking depositions, and Miss Howe is in court. Could you please drop again later? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, well, I guess not the time for that. But man, really jaunty 80s music. The music actually didn't sound all that much different in its original Sam Blaster slash ad lib uh, construction. Construction? Sure. Iterations? Why not? Ooh, down this path lies my office. Say, what about that cute little red-headed accounting? You've always wanted a chance to balance her figures. Uh, you're not even officially divorced yet. Well, I guess island tradition. She just had to walk around the bed a couple of times and she was done. Oh, wow. You're outside of Natives Incorporated, home of the island's major and only corporation. You've always been a fan of big steel buildings. What? Can it be true? Could Natives Incorporated really use cardboard palm trees? Can I take one? Take tree. It's of no use. All right, fine. Ooh, good morning, David. Another day, another dollar, huh? Perhaps so, Larry. But then again, perhaps not. Chairman Kenneth wants to re to report to his office immediately. But to yourself, you think, oh, don't worry, it's probably nothing. I bet he wants to compliment me on my latest big ad campaign. All right, Chief Kenny, go ahead. Oh, you look exactly the same. You haven't aged a day, Kenny. Good morning, Mr. Laffer. It's so nice of you to fit a little time into your busy day to drop by and see us here at Natives Incorporated. Please, have a seat. Anywhere but on my couch. Uh, okay, well I guess I can sit on your floor, coffee table, bookshelf. How about your lap, sir? Yep. Perhaps you're wondering why I summoned you, laugher. It has nothing to do with that recent ad campaign of yours, although by its appearance you didn't have a hell of a lot to do with it yourself. Since you are no longer married to my daughter and your marketing skills are non-existent, I can't for the life of me think for a reason why I should keep you on here. Does he have a Super Nintendo on his desk? In fact, I've been waiting for this moment for quite a long time. You know I know the perfect way to handle this situation. Oh, you hate it when he gets that look in his eye. Perhaps I can introduce you to a favorite hobby of mine. Whoop. Oh, in stereo, son of a bitch, yells Chairman Kenneth, another 7 split. Davy boy, load up my RAM disk. I'm gonna take the laptop out for a spin today. What the heck is a RAM disk? Very well, well, Larry, it seems your ad campaign was not the only thing Chair Chairman Kenneth did not appreciate. Oh, well, you lived off your wits once. You can do it again. Oh, a door slam. I don't think that was in the original game. You shake the haze from your brains, slowly rise to your feet, and stumble groggily outside. Well, that was humiliating, Larry. You vowed never to work for him again. Not that you have a choice. We really hit rock bottom at record time on this game. I... Stop it. I'll say... All right, let's change a few things around here. Oh my god, I can change the text color from blue to what? Well, I typed in random numbers and I got this beautiful pink. Uh, it's not really very high contrast here. Oh, okay, I like these colors too. This is kind of Quest for Glory-ish. Let's keep it like this. Oh, and by the way, keeping the trite phrase feature uh, going from Leisure Suit Larry 2, you can also type in your favorite expletive in Leisure Suit Larry 3. So let's open up the voting for that. Um, I'm already recording this episode, so I'm going to do a few on my own. But uh, here from here on out, the expletive is your guys' call. So go look down in the doobly-doo for the Google form. Fill it out as many as you want. Go for it. Be creative, but let's not get too crazy. Ah, what the hell? Get crazy. Whatever. As many times as you want. Go for it. All right, I've chosen my own trite phrase. I'm not sure if it makes any sense, but whatever. You're outside the island's casino. Steps lead up to the lobby while water splashes merrily down the fountain. All right, well, let's explore a little bit. Let's see. We got ourselves a little outhouse area here. The casino's changing cabana, which also bears an amazing resemblance to an outhouse, is nestled in a grove of trees. Hmm. A public sink is mounted on the side of the cabana. A bar of soap hangs by the sink, suspended by a rope looped over a nail. Uh, well, I pointed that out, so I guess I'll be taking that. Take so... Uh, wow. 
You grab the unusually shaped soap soda rope, shope, shope, soda rope, the shake, 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 shake. Oh, I don't get like ranks in this one. It's kind of sucks. Oh well. Why is it unusually shaped? Oh my. Uh huh. That's not. <laughs> I'm just gonna duck in here for a minute. All right, I can't use the soap on myself. Not yet, anyway. What's this barrel? Believing yourself to be playing a previous Leisure Suit Larry game, you dig through all the garbage in the can, only to discover a postcard saying, the weather is here, wish you were beautiful. You return it to the trash. <laughs> oh, well, the casino was nice. All right, the mouse clicking works just fine. All right, very nice, very nice. I've always been confused about these lights back here. It looks like it's like some kind of weird computer super bank or something. I don't know. It's kind of a look behind the curtain, I think. Look, well, can I get a look behind there? These curtains prevent you from seeing behind them. All right, well, great. Now, unlike Leisure Suit Larry 2, I don't think there were any ridiculous uh, time limits on anything and a lot less dead ends. I might be wrong. Ooh, mirrors. I can see what's going on on the casino floor. Oh, I have no desire to gamble after your experiences in Leisure Suit Larry and the Land of the Lounge Lizards, but I did so well. That guy is rolling craps like a million miles an hour. Piano bar. Unusual walls rise to a sculpted ceiling that descends upon the stool before a grand piano. This place sure is dead. The announcement board lists the drink specials of the day in a vivid fluorescent ink. You wonder how they get such vibrant day clo markers, colors from a marking pen. Can I get the pen? No, all right. That's for later. Okay, I remember some parts of this game, just not all of it. Let me see if I can play the piano. On the scale of musical aptitude, you rank in the fourth percentile nationally. Slightly below an elephant passing gas. All right, and what's on this side? Uh, oh, it looks like we have a casino theater. How nice. The outer lobby of the casino showroom is basically an empty, except for a man standing behind a podium. Hmm, look, man. The maitre d' looks like he would be the life of the party. Yeah, the party was at a mortician's convention. Hello, sir. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Could you give me some information about the show inside? If you'd like to see the show tonight, you'd have to have a ticket. Of course, some of the local tourist magazines contain free passes. If you have no ticket, you might buy one of those. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, life of the party. Bye. All right, Tourist Magazine. Gotta find myself one of those so I can get myself a free ticket to the show for X reason. I don't know. I really don't have any goals yet other than to meet girls. Let's see what's over here. You're in the lobby of the Casino Hotel. A clerk stands bored behind the counter. There are two elevators here. All right, well, let's talk to the guy. You attempt to catch the clerk's attention. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry, sir, but this is a private hotel. All right, I'm not welcome here. Maybe I'll get a room. Oh, wait, maybe I... Uh, do I have any money? I have nothing. The only thing I have in my entire inventory to my name is soap on a rope. Oh, until I get my divorce finalized, maybe I'll get some... Uh, maybe i get uh, some kind of settlement. Let's go check it out. Never mind. I found something more interesting. There's a beautiful topless woman lying here, sunbathing on her towel. There's something moving around in the sand. I have a feeling that's going to come back to bite me. Oh, souvenirs. Souvenirs. Get your genuine non-tolite souvenirs. Oh, wow! Souvenirs! What you selling? Genuine plastic souvenirs, and made in the city of... What was that? Um, Hong Kong. Oh, no matter. As long as they're genuine, give me several. You never know when I might get back this way, and I just love buying souvenirs. Altogether, that comes to... Um, $300 American. I'll cover the taxes for you. Really? That expensive? Okay, if you say so. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a nice day. He doesn't sound like a native at all. I bet you I could scam her as well. Whoop, souvenirs. <laughs> souvenirs. Get your genuine on tonight souvenirs. Special souvenir seashells mounted on a free swinging necklace made of real non tonight uh, string. Seashells? I see you sell seashells at the slimy seashore. Exactly how are your shells different than the ones lying all over Sunafa Beach? Oh, son of a beach. I get it. Ah, uh, these are no longer contaminated with all that crude oil slash sewage mixture we call ocean water. Oh, well. Well, better let me have a few. Uh, here's 50 bucks. Can I get lots? Where are you keeping your money exactly, Tawny? Sure, here's a bag full. Have a nice day. What a sucker. Interesting. Well, she's got unlimited money. Oh, souvenirs. 
Souvenirs here. Get your genuine under night souvenirs. Today only I have these very special deal on these wonderful souvenir beads. Oh wow, I just love jewelry. Would you allow me to purchase some? Well, I guess. Sure, if you're nice to me and you give me lots of American money. Okay, here, take all I've got. Boy, oh, this guy will buy anything. Hey, thanks a lot. But uh, uh, why don't you keep this 20? You might need it. Have a nice day. Oh wow, even the oh, even the con artists on the island are feeling sorry for her. Alright, well, let's see what we're working with here. I guess this is our first uh, potential date. Hello, my name is Larry. Huh, Larry Laffer? Hi Larry, my name is Tawny. Whoop, strike a pose, Tawny. Wow, she looks even better vertical. I bet she has a great horizontal hold, which are all jokes that make no sense outside of the 1980s slash 1990s context. Why are you standing like that, Tawny? What a gorgeous woman with obviously nothing to hide. You suddenly forget all about la 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 completely. You can learn to enjoy the single life once again. Before you speak, you look straight into her eyes. Oh, and kind of wish you had. Why are you sunbathing with all your jewelry on? And your full makeup. That seems weird. I can look at all the individual parts of her head. Her blue eyes show the effects of too many hours spent mauling. Can I look at her nose? Tony's part little nose has years of experience sniffing out bargains. Uh, look, earrings. 24 karat gold. You have extremely sharp vision. Uh, eyebrows? How specific can we get? Oh yeah, I got your eyebrows right here. <laughs> oh, no, I don't need to use the word earlobe, but can I look at ears? Uh, apparently so. You can picture yourself whispering sweet nothings to that beautiful shell-shaped orifice. How creepy can we get here? Look, hair. The effects of many hours she devotes to sunbathing. Okay, let's say touch eyes. You stare deeply into her eyes. She loves it. I would, uh, I would, touch <laughs> nose. Boop. It busily exchanges moisture-laden carbon dioxide for fresh oxygen-enriched atmosphere. In other words, she's still breathing, Larry. Touch lips. You imagine your tongue winding its way around those pearly whites. That's disgusting. Touch earrings. Touch hair. Poke eyes. <laughs> no, booping the nose doesn't work either. Um, what would it take for you to date um an older man like me? Larry, I guess I'm just a material girl. Uh, okay, I think that's a way of saying give me stuff and I'll be seen in public with you. Have you been to that new downtown Nun Tonight Mall? No, but if I ever find it, I bet I could spend my whole vacation there. Well, that's all I can say to her, but I don't think I can give her. My only material possession is the soap. So here, do you want the soap? No, oh, that, no, she doesn't like that at all. Jolly gee, a real bar of soap. In all my days of shopping, I've never seen a bar of soap before. Oh, look at that, that's a, what she want to, oh, not even gonna look me in the eyes anymore. All right, well, bye. As much as you hate to, you stop looking at the beautiful Tawny. Oh, she likes that. You're going away? Yay! Look, sand. They said there was stuff moving down there. How interesting. Hundreds of tiny sand crabs are running all over the sand of beautiful son of a beach. Beautiful. All right. Well, I guess the lawyer's office is my first stop. Let's go. Nope, I still can't uh, get a divorce. Maybe I can just get a divorce with this guy. I need a divorce. Is there anyone here that can help me? Good day, sir. Welcome to the legal offices of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. Uh, for you've come to the right place, but unfortunately all of our attorneys are busy right now. Could you please return later when one of them is free? Dang it. All right, still can't do that. All right, well, I guess we can finish exploring the island. I know for a fact there's a few more places we have not seen yet. Oh wait, we can go back to my house. Maybe Kalalalao and her mate are gone. What's this on the ground? This looks unusual. Look, ground. No, I guess not. Oh, there it is. Beneath the Granda... Granadilla... Beneath the Gran... Granadia? Granad... Granadia? Lies a beautiful piece of wood. Alright, well, get wood. Okay! You take the beautiful chunk of Granadia wood from beneath the tree. Is that... Granadia... What is that? Hang on. Alright, so apparently this is what a Granadia tree looks like. Uh... Alright! Oh, it has fruit, too. Hmm. Live and learn. Granadilla, or Granadilla, Spanish, Granadilla. Well, I guess I learned how to pronounce it. It is either Granadilla or Granadilla. However, there we go. She's not here anymore, so we can open up the box. Oh, and the credits can finally continue. All right, ooh, sound effects. 
Look in box, please. Well, well, look at this. It's an envelope from your credit card company. Eagerly, you take this envelope from the mailbox. Could this be that big break from Egg McMahon you've been hoping for? No, you know exactly what it is. You looked at the envelope, you idiot. Hmm. Say, it's an answer from that credit card company whose application you mailed only 15 weeks ago. Ripping open the envelope, and you discover your new credit card. And look, it's in your name only. Can't claim this as community property. Excellent. Yay, I have a credit card. I won't be destitute. All right, well, I guess with that bombshell, I guess that's a good place to end as anything. So we will continue on our journey next time. Don't forget to give me some expletives that you guys want to put in so we can hear people cursing us in very interesting languages across the board in the remainder of Leisure Suit Larry 3. And, oh, we also have to go back and see if the story of Leisure Suit Larry has changed from the manual. Ooh, maybe there's like a kind of a, a story to come. All right, we'll do that later. Anyway, oh, I got to go. So as always, uh, good night, jelly beans. Good night.